Welcome back. We are continuing our series of Astrogator Rendezvous and Proximity Operation Sequence videos uh, where we go and, and look at the details and kind of give an example of each of these sequences. Um, so we're continuing with the forced motion sequences and in this particular case we're looking at the teardrop sequence. And that guy can be accessed um, somewhat uh, logically from the forced motion folder. So there's our teardrop sequence. Um, and it's a fairly, fairly complex sequence. Uh, it has a number of parameters associated with it, uh, but it's one of my favorites. It um, produces some really cool motion. Um, and so what the teardrop sequence does, it performs a teardrop relative orbit. We, that's what we call it that because that's what it looks like. And um, first the sequence needs to move from where, it's, where the satellite currently is to get it onto the teardrop orbit. And that's gonna be accomplished via a set of forced motion waypoints. Um, which by default move the, the chase vehicle in a near straight line along the path connecting where it, where it was to where we want it to be. Um, so we can do a simple hop to get us there as well. If we want to do that, we say set the way max degrees, the max degrees for the waypoints, to be greater than 180 degrees, and this will force it to use a hop instead. Um, the starting point of the teardrop orbit is the turnaround point. So let's go ahead and look at this. We've already converged it. Um, but we can take a look at it as we're talking. So the starting point of the teardrop is the turnaround point here, so the, the rounded point of the teardrop. Um, and the teardrop can be on top of the target, below the target, it can actually encompass the target satellite as well, um, but we typically don't, don't see it doing that. Um, the teardrop relative orbit is for circular orbits only, and so while it's possible to perform a teardrop relative to an eccentric orbit, that capability is not provided with this sequence. Um, and so what we're going to show here is an example where the teardrop turns around at negative 300 meters on the R bar, so it's below the, uh, the target satellite, and maneuvers at negative 800 meters on the R bar, so down here. Um, and so it's going to do that in five maneuvers uh, over one revolution. And at the end of the day, it takes 84 centimeters per second to accomplish this. So let's take a look here. Um, we will, here's all the different parameters that we talked about. Um, we can go ahead and let this run, and it's going to run and do some targeting and, and do uh, all of the, the complex logic that it needs to do to accomplish this. Um, and so as we follow the teardrop, there's you know, a, a portion of that motion that's natural motion, um, but we're maintaining where, where we're putting it by doing these maneuvers at the, at the, um, at the, the bottom here, at the, the sharp point. Um, and so let's take a look at what we have, we will set our animation time to the beginning of the teardrop sequence, um, zoom to in the 3D graphics window, make the 3D graphics window big, and so here we are at the start of our forced motion waypoints taking us from our initial state, which is uh, on the negative V-bar, and it's going to put us down there uh, on the teardrop orbit. So let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit, see how, how we do. Um, and there we do, uh, we, we tra um, traverse along our uh, forced motion waypoints to get us down to the teardrop, and then we will be there in the teardrop orbit. It will be glorious. All right, so coming up on the insertion, and there we go. So now we're there in the teardrop orbit, um, doing some natural motion, uh, and then a maneuver to stay on the teardrop, and then continue to follow that. So that is the teardrop RPO sequence. It's not as sad as it sounds. Um, it's a very exciting sequence. So thank you for listening.